Alright, right, g'day viewers, I'll score this on the side of the People are doing their cleanups, council cleanups, and it's a sign saying free stuff. Along with a heap of furniture and plastic junk, was amongst, look at all that, was this. Chinese hunk of garbage, but still, hopefully it's not, it's not stuffed. Pull it apart, clean it, and check it all out, because uh, a DCR is quite cool. I do wonder. If the macro vision doesn't affect ripping from tapes, I'm pretty sure it doesn't, because that's, that's initially what these are for. You can't rip from tapes. But it won't do the other way around. You can't get DVD to VHS. D VHS to DVD, but not the other way around. So it should work. Go out and rip the classic, classics without a computer. If you haven't got a computer or, or you want to just have a tape, and you just want to let it sit and rip and record to a DVD without a computer, Providing the tape hasn't got a macro vision, this is the thing to do it with. Made from Master Street Electrico. Made in China, yeah. Made for Panasonic. Jesus, don't people clean up their house. <laughs> Give it a good clean. Check the DVD player. It's probably stuffed. The DVD player part stuffs up, but it's normally why these are thrown out. The high is alright. Because the quarter, a DCR, and not a v, it's a VCR and a DCR. Video cassette recorder on the DVD. Um, uh, v, VDR, video DVD recorder. Getting dirty from the book and everything, but I might. Still got the batteries in it that haven't leaked. So I've got the original owner's manual. Come with the RCA cables and some old motor roller charger. Alright, it's got the support to rip directly from your camera in. Viera link. Oh, it's a modern one for early Panasonic plasma. Alright, let's open this thing up, do some checks. I've got to get some um, A4 bit of paper and also proper alcohol. You run it past the heads to clean the, um, the, v the video heads. Hopefully, it's going to work. Yeah, RF modulates too. You want it for DVD part RF modulates without macro vision. It may or may not though. But I'm hoping it does RF modulate it on the DVD. It's a made in 2007. December 2007. It's about eight, eight years old. Now, mm, the VHS part looks barely used actually. I see new all over that. Had some use, but not much. Go clean this DVD part out. Oh, good quality Japanese comp Oh, except for here, Samsung crap capacitors. The power supply, RJG crap. Nichikon on the high voltage side. TDK transformers. Elna, ah, oh, well, they still use good quality parts there. And there's a Panasonic brains of the um, DVD player. Now, yeah, fan to keep this cool. A nice sort of suck dust into the tape of your VCR, of your VHS tape as well. Carefully take this top off if it lets me up and observe it. I might be checked if there's any damage in there. Hang up, I'm just going to plug it in and power it up first to see if it works. I'm going to get a cord and we'll wire it all up and give it a test. Right, it doesn't seem to pick up DVDs here, I thought so. The classic go to chip of death has plagued this device. Yeah, can't play nothing. Blank all normal CDs or DVDs. Just doesn't work. I try the obvious, try cleaning the layers on that, but I don't think that's going to work. They'll have a dodgy chip that's hard encrypted into the hardware that makes it fail on purpose. Can't even get an input off this damn device. That's the HDMI part there. That's the HDMI board right there. Hmm. What's it required to run to run that? What can I put a custom input in that little board? That'd be handy. Um, no on screen display. It's not working. Interesting. Alright, it's time to pull it apart and clean this device. See if it does anything. Okay, it says no copying from a DVD. Page 51. 
let's see if it says anything about um, macro vision. This doesn't have a vacuum fluorescent display too. It's quite surprised with something that modern. Some didn't, some didn't. Um, let's see. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't say nothing about macro vision though. Oh my god. Right, this must. Does this thing really bypass macro vision? Nah, surely not. Shit, it would be surprising if this thing does get a bit of macro vision, but I doubt it. I doubt it very much. Um, yeah, don't buy those combo units. You see, and don't buy them, they are freaking shit. The VHS part's okay, it'll work longer. But of course, older VCRs from the 80s and the early 90s are better because they're less likely to chew your tapes than these are. These are play back at shitty. These play back at a shittier quality too. These newer ones are so cheap they're made neat your tapes. The quality of your tapes playing back or recording under them are shittier quality. And although they um, handle the tape very really right fast forward, it's actually a lot um, faster and jerkier on the tape. So it's not really good for your tape. These newer ones. Kind of like those new shitty record players you can buy from China. Under Crosley and me and other different smelly dog shit brands. It's like the record player of the VHS, this sort of thing is. The damage it takes. And of course, being one of these, the DVD player is stuffed. It's got the chip inside has been hard wired to stop working altogether. Thanks to plant obsolescence crap. But anyway. Unless I've got another VCR that's half good to rip to computer. I can rip these just to rip VHS tapes to computer. Model number DR-EZ47V, DVD recorder, made in China. Hmm, yeah, jet rewind. Yeah, rewind so fast it'll snap your tape and stretch it. Yeah, look, the batteries are still good. <laughs> Now it definitely says Viera link, so this might work with a new Panasonic Viera Plasma. <laughs> That's a plus, I suppose. Spare Panasonic Viera compatible remote. Yeah, the interface is too complicated. I could just whack in a computer, um, Blu ray burner or something in that. It's not that easy. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.